Hello there! Welcome to another amazing adventure with us! Today, we're going to visit the Science Museum right here in London. Yes, right here in London! Are you excited to know about it? What are the museums in the Philippines? We're going to take a look at the museums in Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. What is a museum? It is a building in which objects of historical, scientific, artistic, or cultural interest are stored and exhibited. Let us first take a look at the National Museum of Fine Arts, which is in Luzon. It is a home to 29 galleries and hallway exhibitions comprising of 19th century Filipino masters, national artists, leading modern painters, sculptors, and printmakers. On a view uh, are art loans from other government institutions and organizations and individuals. It is also along Padre Burgas Street, heading southwest. The monumental old legislative building is presently the National Museum of Fine Arts. The building designed by Ralph Harrington de Juan, Antonio Manala Toledo, and Juan M. Arellano was built in 1918 to 1926. Do Juan, with the assistance of Toledo, designed the building originally as the National Library. The building began its construction in 1918 but was delayed for a lack of funds and was decided to become the legislative building. Aureliano revised the plan by adding the fourth floor and the chambers for legislators changing the central facade and incorporating the ornamentation and sculptural work. Another branch of National Museum, the National Museum of Anthropology carries out scientific analysis regarding the economic, ethnological, linguistic, paleoanthropological, and anthropological aspects of the Filipino people. Historians and researchers conducted these studies to reinforce the development and conservation of physical and natural sciences in the Philippines. The National Museum of Nat Natural History houses 12 permanent galleries that exhibit the rich biological and geological diversity of the Philippines. It includes creatively curated displays of botanical, zoological, and geological specimens that represent our unique natural history. Situated at the center of the museum is the structure 
the tree of life that proudly connects all the unique ecosystems in the Philippines from our magnificent mountain ridges to the outstanding marine reefs. Another museum is the Pindu Art Museum. It is an art gallery located in the city of Antipola in the province of Rizal. It is one of the most visited tourist attractions in the Philippines. The contemporary art space lies on a 1.4 hectare botanical property of Silangan Gardens inside the Grand Heights subdivision in Antipolo. It is um, it exhibits spectacular contemporary indigenous and emerging local art pieces from brilliant artists all over the country. Aside from it, Pinto Art Museum has several broad galleries boasting unique art installations, well curated paintings and sculptures, and for this reason it is one of the most Instagrammable museums in the world. Pinto Art Museum was established in the year 2010. The Tagalog word Pinto means door. It was said that the museum was named uh, as such to symbolize the place and its art collection to open its beautiful doors to people, neighborhood, society, and distinctive nationalities and humanity. Prior to the opening of the Pinto Art Museum to the public, Dr. Hoven Kwanang opened his delightful home to local artists to create and sharpen their skills. Subsequently, he even surrendered his place to these brilliant individuals to provide them with an exhibition space. Another museum is Luz in Luzon is Ayala Museum. It is found in Makati, Metro Manila. It is run privately by the Ayala Foundation and houses archaeological, ethnographic, historical, fine arts, numismatics, and ecclesiastical exhibits. Since its establishment in 1967, the museum has been committed to showcasing overseas collections and situating contemporary Philippine art in the global arena in a two-way highway of mutual cooperation and exchange with local and international associates. The museum was reopened on December 4, 2021 after a two-year renovation. Another museum is the Emilio Aguinaldo Shrine. It is a national shrine located in Cavite, Cavite in the Philippines where the Philippine Declaration of Independence from Spain was declared on June 12, 1898. To commemorate the event, now known as Araw ng Kalayaan or Independence Day, a national holiday, the Philippine flag is raised here by top government officials on June 12 each year. The house is now a museum. The uh, Aguinaldo Shrine and Museum in Kawit Cavite is a special place. It was the home of the first President of the Republic of the Philippines. The first official Philippine flag was raised here on June 12, 1898 during the Philippines' Declaration of Independence from its Spanish colonizers. Locals of Kawit also ceremonially raise the Philippine flag in this shrine every year to commemorate the historical event. So you can see in the museum, um, Emilio Aguinaldo's personal memorabilia, flags, and other 
emblems. Casa Manila is one of the most popular tourist spots in Intramuros. We are now on Casa Manila Museum. It's opposite the San Agustin Church and it is a replica of the Spanish colonial mansion of 19th century in Manila. It creates, recreates the rich merchant's way during the Spanish colonization, showcasing period furniture coming from Chinese, Re European, and Philippine origins. Another museum is the Las Casas Filipinas de Aguzar. In 2003, Jose Jerry Aguzar started his project Las Casas Filipinas de Aguzar, which aims to rebuild Spanish colonial era heritage houses to preserve the history of the old Philippines. The 400 hectares of land in Bagak, Bataan became the new home of 27 carefully selected houses, which are all based on its historical, architectural, and cultural value, ensuring that each establishment carries a significant importance towards Philippines' history. The collection of heritage houses became a part of historic hotels worldwide we're in the continuous progress of preserving historical heritage houses of the Philippines was awarded in the 2018 in Hotel Sales and Marketing Associations. So from the 27 preserved casas, 13 are currently available as accommodation for the overnight stay, while the remaining 13 casas served as a museum of memorabilia of the mansion's former owners, the architecture and landscape of Las Casas Filipinas combined on um, traditional and modern themes featuring designs similar to European architecture around Estero de Vino. Another is the University of Santa Tomas Museum of Arts and Sciences, still in Luzon. And we have the Palawan Special Battalion WW2 Memorial Museum. The atrocities of World War II left the Philippines as undoubtedly one of the Pacific countries that were decimated. The war left significant remnants in the country, and some of these war memorabilia were housed in Palawan Special Battalion WW2 Memorial Museum. How about in Visayas? We have the Balay Negri Negrense Museum. This heritage house turned museum reflects the life of 19th century sugar baron right after the heart of the place where sugar is synonymous with the name of the place itself, Negros. Located in Silay City, Negros Occidental, it is regarded as the first museum in the land of sugar. You will come across architectural artifacts such as antique furniture and sculptures, rare books, a Filipiniana dress, and kitchen utensils which are also the main attractions of the house. The museum features four permanent galleries housing more than a thousand years of historical artifacts, three special exhibition galleries, and one changing exhibition gallery. 
It also has a gallery documenting the country's political history ranging from the time of political nepotism to the current political setup. Next is Casa Gorordo Museum in Visayas. It, um, it has its own piece of history before it was even converted into a museum. The Spanish-style home was once the resident of the first Filipino bishop of Cebu, Juan Gorordo, before it was turned into a museum in 1983. Its architecture and the religious relics now displayed at Casa Gorordo give us a picture of how the Illustrados lived from the mid 19th up to the early 20th. It included a displays of wooden carvings, baroque inspired wooden furniture, household items including kitchen utensils, clothes, and art collections that will certainly take you back in time. And the museum just recently opened a quaint cafe for you to chill down after strolling around the historic property. In Mindanao, we have the Davao Museum of History and Ethnography. It displays the rich history and ethnography of the province. It mainly exhibits the heritage of the diverse tribes that inhabit the region then and now. And then we have the Museum of Three Cultures. It was built to preserve the cultural heritage of the three groups of people generally residing in Mindanao, the Muslims, Christians, and the Lumans. Its three art galleries showcase the unique soil paintings from the Taan Dig tribe from Bukidnon, Mindanao ceramics lifestyle, um, ceremonial Maranao swords, and the Pangao, a huge four poster bed intentionally built to hold the whole family of soil. Thank you so much for this video. You can also visit the link on this website. You can also visit this link on the site for you to get to know more about the different museums here in the Philippines. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and click the notification button for more updates. Thank you!